Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is part 18 video in VCP7 data center virtualization 2020 and in this video we are going to see how to create a virtual machine on vSphere vCenter Server 7 or a ESXi 7. So there was a multiple uh, way to create a virtual machine on vCenter Server so like, like you can create a, from a template you get uh, create a, clo a clone for the virtual machines you can create a brand new virtual machine you can either uh, uh, like uh, convert the virtual machine to the uh, template to the virtual machine so there there is um, multiple uh, ways to create a new virtual machine so in this video we are going to see a brand new creation of the virtual machines and then we are going to install the operating system and it and then how, how to bring that um, a brand new virtual machine in the network and how to uh, join in domain and bring the server in a virtual machine in a production so so as you can see here uh, there was multiple way like create a virtual machine so this is what we are going to do in next few coming videos I'm going to deploy a virtual machine from template also we are go going to clone some virtual machine we are going to clone some virtual machine from uh, to a template and these all the stuff we are going to perform but in this video we are focusing on the uh, creating a brand new virtual machine and then bringing that virtual machine in a, uh, in a network and um, uh, joining domain so so let's get started so this is my demo environment which I am going to use in this demo so my first machine is win 19 dc01 this is my domain control and DNS server so you can see the uh, my domain name is labsandson.com and my DC is running Windows Server 2019 so here is my domain control you can see uh, active directory and DNS is running on this machine and this is win 19 dc01 and the second machine is our vCenter server which is running vCenter server appliance 7 and the name of host is invcss01 so if I go here you can see this is my vCenter server which is running version 7 and I got two ESXi hosts which is ESXi01 and ESXi02 so both is, is added in my uh, prod cluster which is on my ESXi uh, uh, environment and you can see both ESXi host is running uh, VMware ESXi 7.0 so this is good so now to create a virtual machine the first thing which you require to create and install the operating system is the ISO file so if you see here in a data data store I got one data store for the ISO and I have uh, copied there like ISO file for the Windows Server 2019 so you can see this is going to be my into K19 uh, ISO file which is approx 5 gig so now let's go to um, data center uh, host and cluster so uh, you can create from like you can go to menu and you can go to VMs and templates host and cluster so both places you can find the virtual machine creation even if you right click on the ESXi host you will see a new virtual machine if you create right click on cluster you can see the new virtual machine and same way if you if you basically click on uh, go to um, uh, data st uh, data center cluster uh, data center which is logical also you will see the new virtual machine and if I go to uh, VMs and template you can also see the uh, uh, new virtual machine so there was multiple ways uh, it's depend on uh, from where you want to create so let's uh, go to this cluster and I'm going to click on right click on this cluster name which is a prod cluster and then new virtual machine so you will see here create a new virtual machines which we are going this option uh, guides you through the creating new virtual machine you are able to do a customization process memory network uh, and other stuff so this is good just click on next and now you can see all your uh, folder structure in here which is available in vCenter so I'm going to select my prod VM and I'm going to call it win to k19 vm01 and then I'm going to click next so this is going to be a virtual machine name so click next and then you got the your cluster if you want to select any individual host you can select either you can go with the cluster also so I'm going to select the default cluster so click next and then you have an option to select your data store so I have this data store cluster so I'm going to select INDS cluster and then you can click the you can click next button and compatibility view on which ESXi environment you want to run so I'm going to leave it with, uh, with the ESXi uh, 7.0 since my ESXi are running uh, 7.0 so now click next and the guest operating system you have a multiple ways like you can install the Linux you can also get the 
like Apple operating system and others you can see here which is going to be a, you can basically install the ESXi host also so uh, these are the mm, other options which you can select and we got the Linux also so once you click Linux you can see the Red Hat, SUSE, uh, all the everything is Ubuntu everything is there so I'm going to focus on Windows and then going to select Windows 2019 64-bit so now just click next and you can see all the uh, hardware customization now pop up so if you want to have a hot mm, enable hot plugin for CPU you can go ahead and do this now and you can set the memory so I'm going to give it 6 gig and I'm going to enable the hot memory plugin also so in case we need to upgrade the memory you can update while the virtual machine is running so now the hard disk size so I'm going to make it smaller like 51 gig and then I'm going to make it a uh, thin provision so it's going to save less space in our data store whatever the uh, consume space is going to be used only data store under the data so then we got the network so in network I'm going to select my correct VM network which is VMnet or uh, D, D switch and then you need to make sure you got selected this VM, uh, VMX net 3 which is the latest um, network adapter and then you need to select the CD drive to install the operating system so I'm going to select the data store ISO file and then I'm going to select ISO and we got our Windows Server 2019 ISO so click on OK and then if uh, click on connect and if you want to remove any devices like unnecessary device like new USB controller you can remove uh, other devices you can remove also so now if you go to VM options you will see these all options which is available so uh, you can see the VM uh, VM tools also like host uh, synchronized time periodic with the host so it's going to be disabled so if you need any customization here you need to come under the VM options and you can define those things also so now we are good just click next and you can see what we have selected through this wizard so it's going to be Win2K19 VM01 and folder is going to be a prod VMs and cluster is prod cluster so two CPUs and we got a uh, 6 gig of memory one neck which is uh, neck connected to this v uh, uh, this network and we got vmx net 3 and size of the disk and this is going to be a new disk so this is all good just click on finish now you will see the virtual machine got created so you can see uh, the virtual machine is created now now what you need to do you need to go ahead and power on this virtual machine so now I am going to launch the console and you can see just double click on it so it will boot from the CD you need to press any key and now you will see it's going to boot from the ISO which we have inserted so it's booting now and the installation procedure is going to be pretty simple which we uh, do with the all windows operating system installation so uh, we just need to make sure the disk is uh, available and we need to select the disk and go go for the installation so windows 2000 uh, windows server 2019 so click on next and then you need to select the install now now setup is going to be prepared so now we got all the options like server 2019 uh, standard standard with desktop experience so I'm going to uh, with the standard desktop uh, experience so now click next and then select the license terms and click next and then this is going to be an install windows only so click on it and then you can see your div disk uh, there available in uh, for the selection and just click the uh, next button so it's going to install the operating system in uh, uh, drive 0 which is available here so click next and this is going to be a pretty simple installation so it's going to take some time for the installing the operating system on this 
um, virtual machine so I will be waiting for the installation and once the installation is done I will resume from there so now you can see the installation is completed and it's going to ask for the password so sometimes when you install the virtual machine it's not going mouse is not going to work properly since it does not have a VM tool installed so you need to do few tasks with the uh, keyboard itself and once uh, uh, VM tool is installed and conf uh, and server is got rebooted you will see the it's going to like mouse is going to be work fine so you can see also since the VM tool is not installed the VM network is not available so the first task after installing the virtual machines to install the VM tools so let's do that so you can see this is booting now and to install the VM tool just right click you can uh, right uh, you can do a right click or after some time you will see here the VM tool is not installed um, like uh, you can see the message on this uh, machine itself then you will get the option to install the VM tool and for that also you can go to manage if you are opening the this basically a, a remote console you can go to manage and click on install VM tools so this will mount the installation media of the VM tool in this virtual machine so now let's start and to do the installation you can see the VM tool is mounted uh, ISO is mounted so I'm going to open this computer first and then going to uh, do some uh, tasks from the keyboard and going to select my installation media and just click on it so it, it will launch the installation wizard so we need to wait for the installation screen to pop up so you can see it's a popped up pop up at the back end so again we need to go close this and then we can see the installation so I'm going to install with the typical option so now you can see the installation is running and once the installation is done the first time you need to reboot the virtual machine to get the things applied the VM tools applied on the virtual machine and then you can see that it's going to uh, network and everything is going to wor work properly so you can see nick driver is installed and you can see it's now uh, connected on the network so this is good thing so now just wait for VM tools to get the installation finished so just click on finish and it will ask you to reboot the virtual machine so go ahead and reboot this so now if you go and open basically web console or the remote um, console for the virtual machine you will see the mouse is going to be work properly so just wait for some time So now if I click control to Dell you can see my mouse is started working properly and then we are done with the installation and now the basic task is uh, left like create the um, rename the virtual machine configure the IP address and join this machine in domain so th that is going to be a basic stuff so let's do those tasks also so you can see here we got the C drive we got the ISO media also so I'm going to remove this um, ISO drive uh, ISO uh, image from the basically virtual machine so I am I have removed it so you will see now this is no more available I'm going to remove rename this drive as a OSD so we got this done and now the final task is to configure the IP address and join this machine in domain so I am going to put the IP address on this machine so it's going to be same series with the what I have configured on VM01 so VM01 having 151 so I'm going to configure on this machine 152 so 192 
192, 1.152 and then the subnet mask is going to be default, gateway is going to be 1.1 and DNS is going to be my DC IP address and then alternative is going to be my router so this is done so it's got the internet connectivity and now we should be able to join this machine in domain so I'm going to rename this machine and join this machine in domain together so just click on change and put the name so win 2 k 19 vm 2 and then put the domain name labsandson.com and you will see it's asking for the credential to join this machine in domain so click ok and now you can see welcome to the labsands.domain so this machine is successfully joined the domain and now we need to reboot this machine so you must need to reboot so I'm going to finally reboot this machine and we'll verify by login with the domain account and we'll see that everything is going to be work fine so if I uh, go to my Active Directory server also I can see the machine join in my domain so go to Active Directory server, Active Directory users and computers and then if I go to computers the default you can see the VM02 is joined so this is good thing we got the virtual machine in domain also so you can see VM02 01 is there and now it's booted and now I'm going to log in with my domain account to verify everything is working fine so you can see since this is joined in labs and so on dome or uh, labs and so on domain so it's got the domain name and just put my password to log in to this machine and you can see we got the successfully login to this virtual machine so basically this is how you can create a virtual machine on vCenter 7 on a ESXi 7 and how you do the post installation task on the a newly created virtual machine so we, uh, next videos we are going to cover the uh, uh, deploy the virtual machine from a template how to create template and other stuff and then we are going to do some uh, other customization also uh, for the deploying the virtual machine on the advanced level so thank you for watching please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can always post me my given mail ids thank you once again bye bye